Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is majority element. So in this question, we're given an array nums of size n and we need to return the majority element. By definition, a majority element is element that appears more than n by two times where n is the size of the input array nums. So this is the input array given and we need to return an integer variable representing the majority element. So coming to the function they have given us, this is the function name and we are given an integer array nums as a parameter which will contain the elements and the return type is an int so we return the majority element as an integer now let's take a look at this example and see how this problem can be solved let's take a look at the example one so this is the nums array consisting of the three elements three two and three and we need to find the majority element so majority element is one which appears more than n by two times so as soon as you see we have to check for the number of times an element has been repeated we need to find the count of the elements inside the nums array. For that, let's use a hash map where the key is going to be the array elements and the values are going to be the frequency of that array element. We have this array 3, 2, 3, right? So we start iterating the array from left to right and we pick each element at a time. Let's start with this element. We check if that element is present as key inside the map. No, it's not present. So add that element and set its frequency to 1. We go on to the next element. The next element is 2. We check if it is present as key inside the map. No. So add that element and set its frequency to 1. Move on to the next element. It's a 3. 3 is already present. So increment its current frequency by 1. The current frequency is 1. It will be changed to 2. And we reach the end of the array. So now we have the map with the frequency of the array element. Now we find the majority element by creating an entry set method to iterate through all the entries inside the map. So we start with the first entry. So majority is equal to n by 2, right? n is equal to length of the array. Length of the array is equal to 3. So 3 by 2. 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5. We check if the value of that array element is greater than the majority element. So 2 is greater than 1.5. So we take that respective array element and store it in a result variable. Now we go on to the next iteration. The next iteration is 2. So second entry inside the map, we get its value. Its value is 1, which is less than 1.5. So you don't consider this element and we finished all the entries inside the map. Result is having the value equal to 3. So you return 3 as the output, which is the expected output. Now let's take a look at the code. I'm declaring a map here. I'm iterating through the input array nums from 0 to the end of the array and checking if that element is present inside the map. If it is present, get its current frequency and increment it by 1, like how I did here for this example. If it is not present, add that element inside the map and set its frequency to 1. So for every unique element, this else block will be executed. And from the next time, if that element is present as key inside the map, we get its current frequency and increment it by 1. Now we get the majority value and store it inside a variable majority. And we need to compare each value inside the map with the majority element. So to compare each value inside the map by creating an entry set method. So you use entry to access each entry inside the map so that we can access value using the get value method. So entry.getValue will give you the value and compare it with the majority element. If this condition satisfies, store it inside the result like how we stored here. And this for loop will happen for all the entries inside the map. This map contains two entries. So this for loop will iterate for two times. After all the entries are finished, it will come out and return what is present inside result. In this example, 3 was present inside result. So we return 3 as the output. The time complexity of this approach is O of n. And the space complexity is also O of n because we are using a map to store the frequency of the array elements. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.